Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're going to be talking about diesel D17 Alice. Hey everyone, just wanted to invite you out to the Keating Tractor Show. This is going to be held in Liberal, Kansas on August 27th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Again, that's Liberal, Kansas, August 27th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mark your calendars, kiddos are welcome. There'll be activities for them, food, vendors, dunk tanks, and more. Come and meet Dave and I from Crazy D's Equipment. We hope to see you there. So some of you might still be familiar with this tractor. You remember a few, oh, one, two, three, four, nine months ago. I don't remember how long it's been. So tractors come, tractors go. It, they all blur together with me. But uh, this D17 diesel came in. It had a loader on it that was all broke up and, and was just absolute a uh, poo sickle uh we are gonna run it for you we couldn't get it to run it was out at the holding yard well we got it running here let the doc film some footage early of it's running check this out so which you can see it's running but it's not running the greatest so um there's some some things the doc needs to do on it yet we we did get the really bad tires replaced we put these on these are off of a parts uh d17 that we had it had good tires but the engine and it was all kind of beat up really bad this thing could really use like a good paint job i think it would be really pretty but you know that buddha diesel and i do believe that's right if i'm wrong 15 of you will correct me in the comments but i believe that's a buddha diesel it sounds pretty decent uh it is a smoking the doc says it's missing out or not quite running a ride on a couple uh injectors he said they either need to be clean from it sitting or the fuel is just that old and that bad but you know an old diesel diesel will run on fuel no matter how old it is uh doc wants to either drain doc wants to drain the tank put fresh diesel in it he also wants to clean those injectors or run something through that would clean the injectors the other thing that you got to do that we got we got to figure out to replace or fix is the uh the ignition switch it it you turn it it's it's off or it's on and when it's on the starters are cranking if it, if, if you want it to be cranking or not so once it starts you got to turn the key to the off position to get that to stop cranking um we put three point on the back of the tractor an aftermarket deal i do have a draw bar for it if that's something somebody's going to be needing but we were able to get this uh i had an aftermarket uh three point thing that hooked to the quick hitch on here so we got that on we put we made a deal for the for the top link and put that on there and gave it a nice coat of uh, alice well actually it's kubota orange but who can tell the difference but um so otherwise guys so i i, I after doc does his little bit of tinkering and stuff this thing will be on the lot it'll be ready to go um i'm going to probably start it out at about fifty five hundred dollars which i think is a pretty good price for a diesel d17 um i think you know they didn't build a whole lot of these and i remember reading a while ago and i could be wrong with this and if i am i know like six of you will also tell me in the comments but i think there's about five thousand or so uh diesel d17's built so this is uh not a pretty not a really common tractor now i don't know about you guys up north how common they are but they're really not very pretty rare down here i know of two this one and a parts one i got it's the only two i know of now i know there's probably more out there um i have seen there's a d17 that comes to the shows 
around here but it is it's got a six cylinder diesel in it which is a diesel what they did is they pulled a diesel out of a, a gleaner combine a uh, six cylinder cil out of a gleaner combine and put it in the tractor i don't know if that was to build a puller or just make something neat but they definitely they did that on a d17 and then they also got a uh a, a wd45 that they did the same thing to so um i'm guessing that's a puller i'm um, i'm not for sure i can't think of much other purpose that that you to to do that was but maybe make a neat little project it's kind of like putting a v8 in a farm all eight which I've seen a few times so but anyways guys that's not a long video I understand that um, but thanks for coming in thanks for watching and we'll keep you updated on what's going on with the d17 diesel